Well, here I am in our larder, and um, I've got a Munchak uh, young doe, I think it was. Munchak doe, it was shot about eight, nine days ago, and it's been in our chiller. Uh, I'm about to skin it off. It's not the cleanest of shot Munchak. It was shot by a, a client who was out with me, but um, anyway, it was part of our cull. Uh, we do a lot of Munchak culling. Uh, there's so many in the woods nowadays, and they impact on ground level plants and regeneration of our, uh, our forests. So it's a good animal to take. Its venison is reputed to be the best tasting one. And, uh, but this one we're gonna make into some smash burgers. So we're doing Service UK smash burger. And I'm gonna strip the meat off it, keep the best fillets out the back, but the haunch, front shoulder, and any other meat I can get on it is going through the mincer. And we're gonna make ourselves something nice to eat for lunch. So it's been shot here, shot humanely. Uh, this is a deer that's at large in our British woodlands. It's an absolute menace to regeneration at ground level of our plants and flora, and there's far too many of them. So we, as part of a cull, shoot plenty of them. We select the, um, the correct animals to shoot, and this is uh, then entered into the food chain, but on this case, it's for ourselves. I'm using this knife, uh, it's a skinning knife and it's got a blunt end on it. The, the muntjac has no fat on it at all, so it's really skin straight onto meat. It's, it's probably the worst deer that we shoot in the UK to skin, uh, and especially after nine days it really wants to hold on to that skin. Um, so uh, you just have to do your best with it really. Um, I like to skin off the back of the haunches, pull it down over the tail, then get my weight behind it and push it down. And this, this helps not to damage the meat too much with its blunt tip. So that's the skin off. Um, as I said, there's hardly any fat on it. You can see very lean meat and it tends to pull the skin off when you skin it. So you can see a few of these holes here. Uh, that's why uh, these haunches are going into burgers. I've got the good fillets down here from just behind the shoulder right up onto the, um, onto the haunch. So they're going to be great. I'm going to take them out and freeze them down. I live on them in the summer. It's so beautiful to have a Munchak medallions on the barbecue, but that's another recipe. Um, so we're going to whip these joints off now, cut the meat off very roughly, and then mince it. I've took all the meat off the haunches and um, front shoulders, cubed it all up roughly, and I've brought it into the next room where my uh, friend has a butcher shop, and we're borrowing his mincer, because our mincer's a small one, it takes forever, and this takes about 20 seconds. So uh, fire up the mincer. Look at that baby. So we're gonna put it through twice to get it a little bit finer so it's not so coarse. As we're making these smash burgers and we cook them like a flat patty, uh, we want it to a little bit, a little bit purer. So uh, we'll put it through for the second time. And if you have a look at this, look at that baby. Ho oh, oh. delicious. Well, you saw us do our muntjac mints earlier on and we brought it back home. Uh, look at that, it's so gorgeous. And this meat is probably eight, nine days old. So it isn't bright red like fresh meat. It's gone into that lovely livery color. And the, uh, the thing with muntjac, it's mega lean. It's got no fat on it. Uh, and we're gonna make some muntjac uh, smash burgers today. We've made them before, but we thought we'd film it and show you guys. Very simple to make, but because the meat's ultra lean, we need to, um, it would, if we put it straight onto uh, the Traeger grill, um, it'll just all crumble up. So we're gonna make a bit of a binding agent. So I've got some sourdough breadcrumbs that I've chopped up. Chef Pascal advised me to do that. Uh, I'm gonna bind it with an egg yolk from one of our bantam eggs out of the garden, uh, a little bit of garlic, and then some onions on top, and then the pièce de résistance is our fresh red Leicester on top of that. Uh, the only other thing I'm gonna add is some pepper and salt, and um, maybe as we're cooking it, a bit of the Traeger spice. So uh, let's see how it goes. I'm just about to mix it all up. And you want to make it into a, a ball, depending on the size of your roll. Our rolls are quite big, so I'm going to make it into a ball si size between, say, a golf ball and a tennis ball in my hand, uh, not too um, compacted. Put that on the grill, flatten it out with my uh, spatula, and then put the onions and the cheese on top. And we're going to double stack it. So um, with a smash burger, it's in particularly thin, um, so you get that crunchy edge on it and the melted cheese into it that make, gives it that gorgeous flavor. So uh, let me get on with it. I've just drained the um, 
the egg white off it and put the yolk straight in. Hey, come on. It can be a bit tricky, Dan, and it's all an experiment, isn't it? Well, look at it, doesn't it look gorgeous? using our uh, Traeger Ranger today. We use this a lot when it's just a handy lunch or something like that. We've got a bigger one for, for the summer and better weather. I mean, we're cooking in February, so uh, it's a quick half an hour lunch and we're just using, making use of the uh, free venison that we get um, every day whilst we're out in the forest. Get me burger bun on there, Dan. Woohoo! Look at that baby. And as the top chefs do, just look at that baby. Crispy, melted, lovely caramelised onions and the best munch jack you'll ever wish to eat. Just look at that. Munch jack smash burger made in 20 minutes from the purest uh, meat you can get. Absolutely delicious. Just look at that. Let's try a bit. Oh my God. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-uh-uh. What a good 